dear students welcome to the video lecture of storage classes storage classes and sheep programming storage classes and sheep programming we are going to discuss Uh, every variable in a in a program has a memory associated with it. Memory requirement for a variable is different for different type of variables. You can see memory is allocated and released at different phases. Okay, the actually storage class summary we are going to discuss the term and definition scope. It means the region or part of the program in which, in which variable is accessible. Extend means the period of time period of time during which memory is associated with the variable. So the variable is active. Then uh, Storage manner manner which memory is storage manner which which memory is allocated by the compiler for a variable of storage classes. Default initial value garbage value are zero based on the storage class. So we are having a syntax for the storage class. Storage class followed by the data type and variable name. So different type storage class are auto storage class, static storage class, extend storage class, and the register storage class. Storage class of the variable is determined the following things. Where the variable is stored, scope of the variable, default initial value, lifetime of the variable. Where the variable is stored, the storage class determines the location of the variable where it is declared. Variable declared within the auto storage class are declared inside the memory. Where by variable declared with the keyword register are stored inside the CPU register. Uh, next, the scope of the variable. Scope of the variable tells the compiler about the visibility of the variable in the block. Variable may have a block scope, local scope, or external scope. Default initial value of the variable. Whenever we declare a variable in C, garbage value is assigned to the variable. Garbage value may be considered as an initial value of the variable. C programming has a different storage classes, which has a different initial value, such as a global variable have an initial value zero, while local variable, auto variable have the default initial value as a garbage value. So when variable is declared, a memory is allocated, the variable is stored in the memory randomly, one byte is allocated for the variable. Lifetime of the variable. This lifetime is known as a time of the variable declaration minus time of the variable destruction is known as a lifetime. Suppose we have a declared a variable inside the main function, then the variable will be destroyed only when the control is comes out of the main. That means end of the program. For all the function also, if we declare a variable inside the function, okay, that will execute until the control is inside the function. When, when a control comes out, okay, the variable will get destroyed. That is known as a lifetime of the variable. So these four are the important parameters where the variable is stored, the memory or register, scope of the variable, local or global, default initial value, garbage or a zero, lifetime of the variable are the four important property. So that's it for this video. In the forthcoming video, we are going to discuss about the each storage classes one by one. Thanks for watching it.